Namaste. <laughs> mm. So I want to tell you a little good night, sleep tight story mm. just before you go to sleep. So once upon a time, in a place far, far away, kind of in the middle of nowhere, which was also in the middle of nowhere, a long time after this moment, we would begin to call it the great mystery, because that's truly what it is. It's a long time ago in the middle of nowhere, there was this beautiful little rock <laughs> and spinning and spiraling around itself, around its own solar system and around a great galaxy. Beautiful rock, beautiful little rock. But the only life on this rock was the rock itself and she was very dark, very cool, very young. And she started to long for life, <laughs> for different flavours of life, for all kinds of life. And she went through many stages of things preparing for the life to come. Waters and fires, the elements which breathe life into life. <laughs> and then in this mystery story, some magic happened. We don't know how it happened, but some magic happened. And magic was that these little beings, just one cell, one cell of life appeared in this realm. One little cell somehow made other cells by dividing itself into two. In that division, in that splitting, life grew. And then, in some moment, this little cell died. And the body it left, the little cell of body, became earth. Became earth, what we know as earth now, became earth. And that was the life we were waiting for, for all life to come into existence. And every time a cell died, there was more earth. So this little rock began to grow. As life died, life grew and expanded and expanded. And the more life that came, the more life that died. And earth began to grow. She began to expand. And even now, even now, Earth is still growing. Our planet Earth is getting bigger. With every death, Earth gets bigger and makes space for more life. And the Earth itself, the death itself, Earth is death, isn't it? Becomes life. <laughs> So this is the story of how death gives birth to life, always, including in every moment of your life, where there is a death, know for sure, life will grow, and one day, I will die, too, and my essence this, this flesh essence of me will return to earth 
in some way or another and become life again. And so will you become part of this great expansion of our beloved Mother Earth. Expanding and expanding ever into her being through this journey of life into death, into rebirth. And if you know this and you see this as truth, or feel it as truth, perhaps I, I may invite you to have just a little bit more courage to live. Mm -hmm. I know there is only life. There is only life, no matter what is happening around us. And we all, you know, I'm also touched by things, mm, you know, like what's happening on earth at the moment with what people call this pandemic and so forth. I am touched too. I'm touched when I have to say goodbye to someone either in the end of a relation or in a physical death. It touches me. It touches my, my waters, my love waters. I feel that. I feel that in my heart very deeply. When I have loved deeply and I have said goodbye deeply. As will you feel it deeply. Now that feeling we have, we call grief when there is death. That is the fragrance of the flower of love. <laughs> it's the rivers of your love, your tears. It's the great river of your soul, flowing into form in love. It's okay to grieve. As though I like myself, I sometimes would prefer not to, but when it comes, we are ready for it and we will feel it by ourselves and also together. <laughs> so embracing this great death, which grows this planet, which is us too, this beloved goddess growing through her cycles of death, rebirth and life. Try to let the, try to let that in, like into the core of you. Try to let it into the core of you. <sighs> because if you can, if you can, there's something in you can soften a little bit more to the fire against the skin, to the love in this moment, even to the emptiness of this moment, to trusting this moment more and whatever is arising in it. Trusting it just a little bit more <laughs> with great courage, maybe even trembling in fear and terror of losing that which we love, you know, but still willing to love it knowing that death only leads to greater life and to the rebirth again of love in some new form. Love giving birth to love. Love rebirthing, which is you. You are that. Mm. Namaste.